Hey y'all and good morning. Welcome to our Grey House Vlogs. I'm about to jump in the shower. I've been helping a client this morning and I got up with Marvin as my plan. I'm behind on getting in the shower. Remember I was going to try to get in the shower by 7.15, 7.45. So I need to skedaddle but got my day started. So that's good. I I did this yesterday too. I started doing something before I was ready for the day. So tomorrow, that's that's gonna be something I'm gonna focus on. Before I start answering emails, before I jump on social media, before I um, you know, talk with my clients or whatever, I need to focus on um the uh, uh the my plan, my plan for the morning, my schedule, and not get distracted or not get deterred from completing my morning routine, get that down, and then I can start focusing on clients. Then I can start focusing on helping folks with the things that they need or just enjoying social media or something like that. So I'm gonna jump in the shower now and get ready for the day and see how quickly I can get ready. I think I might actually try to dry my hair a little bit today, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna make dinner tonight, so we're gonna have marvelous meals with Marvin and Lisa, or something like that. Uh, we'll, we'll probably cook together again tonight. And I say again tonight, we, we did it last week, so we'll cook tonight. And uh, I had a really good dinner with Starbucks Amy last night and caught up with her. She's doing okay, so I'm really thankful for that because I've really been enjoying the friendship. But now, like I said, I'm gonna go jump in the shower and get ready for the day, and I'm gonna make it awesome. Get some stuff done. I um, see now I wanna blab like about yesterday, cause I'm like, yesterday I had a good day with Jessica, and I had a good time with Starbucks Amy last night, so my friendships and connections were deepened, but anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skedaddle. Because if I don't, then I'll be later and I'll be like, oh, and I started out later than I wanted to. So let me go skedaddle, we can catch up in a little bit. Hey y'all, I've already jumped on, I know. But now I'm about to head out for work. And yes, I'm heading out later than I wanted to. But remember, I, start, I, I started helping clients before I was ready for the day. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow, I'm, I'm already thinking ahead. What I'm gonna do tomorrow is make sure when I get up, I get ready, and then I start like looking at social media or you know looking at my emails or looking at stuff like that. So then that way I'm not like, oh my gosh, I still have to get ready to go to, to work or do my day and it not be, you know, whatever. So um, let me know if you guys think that'd be a good plan. I'm trying to open my phone. It needs my face recognition. I just looked at my calendar because for some reason I think there was like a class I was gonna go to or like an event I was gonna go to. I have nothing on my calendar and I'm just like, I, I am almost certain there's something happening today. So I'm sure I'll find out about it when I get to work and I'll look at my events on Facebook and stuff. I could look now but um, Gosh, I'm gonna look now. <laughs> so anyway, other than that, I don't have anything planned. I don't have anything planned. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and um, I'm gonna stop by Dollar General and get those washcloths because I didn't buy them yesterday because I thought, well, let me stop at Dollar Tree and see if they're cheaper at Dollar Tree, which I mean, in theory, they kind of would be, but Dollar Tree didn't really have anything. The store that's near my house is like the, like, Hey, we look like we're about to close or go out of business or we don't get murdered. I mean, like they have nothing in the store, like so many empty shelves. I showed you guys yesterday, but um, it was like, like really, are you guys closing? Are you guys, um, are you, are you stocking? What are you doing? There's so much empty space on that shelf. And that's frustrating to me just, well, as a consumer, because I'm like, I want more product on the shelves. Also, as a realtor, I know that like shelf space, I mean, I don't know about retail necessarily, but I used to work at Sears, but I'm just saying like retail shelf space is valuable and you're just wasting all that space. I don't know. I don't know who to talk to, but I just feel really upset about it. I don't feel really upset about it, but I do think about it. I'm like, why are they doing this? Why isn't it more stocked? Why isn't it more whatever? So, um, yeah, anyway, okay, that's what that's what's happening today. Let's go get a hot chocolate and get our day going. I came home really quick. Cut. 
Oh, watch me have broken it already. Actually, it was just a dollar at Dollar General, so, I mean, still, you don't want to break it. I'll show you what I bought. I bought this big, fluffy pillow, and that's probably going to go on our master bed, I think. And then, um, I bought, alarm's going to go off, so hold on. So I bought this big, fluffy pillow for our master bed but it has already shed on me, so that's awesome. Kind of not. And I bought some things to go in the guest bedroom. Or the guest bedroom and possibly my office, like for the bathroom. So remember I was telling you about doing washcloths and folding them up? So that's what I bought. I think I'm gonna put like another row of, of washcloths on here. Probably just the white ones, I don't know. I mean, it looks fine. Or I need to put like another, maybe like a hand towel under here to kind of give it some height and lift it up a little bit. And on this, like I said, I'm gonna put a candle holder. I thought about putting this and like filling it with buttons or something cute, but I think I'm gonna put that in my office bathroom. So the decor color in here is still the gray and white stuff, but I've added the accents of teal or aqua I guess it's more of an aqua kind of color. But also the bath rug in the bathroom, I've showed you that before, it has the teal on it as well. And that, whatever you call it, pillow that shed all over my black shirt that I'm wearing. Thank you very much, not. I am probably gonna put that in, I mean, I kind of like it on the couch too, but um, where I just had it. But I just, oh my goodness, it's stinking up the place. Bubs. So, um, I just thought like I'll put uh, the candle back here. I, I had a candle before. I'm kind of going for more like a pink, dusty pink, blush pink and gold and um, kind of like the teal color in here as well. So, I think I'll put, I don't know, I thought I'd just put like a bunch of little like white buttons and maybe blush pink buttons in here and maybe a couple of the um, aqua as well. And... It's kind of like a cute little thing. I don't know. I'm not a decorator. And if y'all have any ideas on how to make a cat box not smell as much, I'd appreciate it because like he just went and naturally it's going to smell. He did cover it up. So he's doing his part, but I just, and I have it underneath a ledge. So it's just not open air, but, and it's in the bathroom area. It's in my office area, so really, it's going to be me affected by it mostly when I'm in my office. But I kind of want to put that curtain thing up, or some sort of curtain thing up, so that I can kind of, like maybe when guests are going to be coming over or something, close the curtains or keep the curtains closed most of the time. Because I know they sell cat boxes with like the hoods on them, and like they can go inside. What are you doing? He keeps chewing on stuff. So I know they make cat boxes that way, but anyway, just trying to think of ways to minimize the odor. And I bought those washcloths at Dollar General, so they were very inexpensive. And this ribbon would make a great play toy. So maybe I'll hold on to it just so they can kind of play with it. And okay, I'll hang on to it. Another advantage to me coming home and living so close to work and all the things is I came to get, I get my water and stop for a potty break. I don't particularly care for public restrooms, although the restroom at work is fine, but nothing like using your own restroom. Just me, okay. Also, Marvin is working on painting the chairs and he asked me, he said he likes the white and I originally wanted the teal color the same as the front door but if he wants white, I don't care. Because I feel like white is a classic color. It's like, really can't go wrong with white. And we're using the same white as the trim because we have the, you know, paint left over. So it's not like we're having to try to match whites. We know what white it is, what color white we want. So it's gonna match. But um, whatever he decides is fine because he's painting it. I'm not. And I'm not, I try not to be super picky about stuff like that because I just, like in the big picture, is this, 
well, I guess it would matter like next week because I'm like oh my gosh I hate that color or something like that but mm, yeah I don't feel that way so all right now I'm gonna go to work it's later what time is it oh it's almost 11 o'clock y'all but I've gotten some things done this morning so that's fantastic can't complain about that hey y'all and welcome to hot chocolate chat today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks it tastes really good today I don't know why and I want to talk about the Enneagram. Also, I'm wearing non-Kendra Scott earrings today, so don't worry, Kendra. I'm not mad at you, but I'm just trying out new things. The ladies at our church, normally we do like a book club during the summer, and I don't really know why. Maybe because some of them are teachers. And so this summer, for book club, we're doing a book, but it has to do with like the Enneagram. And I can't, re I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, I mean, that's important, but not really to this conversation. I've taken the test a couple times, I think. I know, well, I know like twice, like from different companies. But if you know about Enneagram, what number do you think I am? I mean, you only have nine to choose from. So you have a one in nine chance of getting it right. I am a number seven. And I don't know what my wing is, though, or if I have one. Maybe I don't. I don't know. But my friend Kate is like a guru at this stuff. And she's going to help us um, kind of walk through this book. I still don't remember the name of it. And to talk about our numbers. And if you follow John Christ, he calls it like the horoscope, horoscope for Christians. But anyway, that's, that, that's another story too. But if you know your number, then let me know. Like comment or, or, or tag me in a post that you've made or something like that. And if you have any favorite Enneagram accounts that you follow like I do I follow Enneagram and coffee and Enneagram memes it'll be interesting to find out more about myself kind of some self-reflection yeah but that's what I wanted to talk about today so if you've done the Enneagram let me know your number if not if you're curious for more information let me know that too I don't have any by tomorrow I'll find out the name of the book that we're doing and I can, I'm happy to pass that along Actually, I'll know it like in a few minutes. Just did my hot chocolate chat. I'm at work now and I'm about to go in. Hey y'all, Jessica and I, Jessica is your top notch realtor. She, and I'm your favorite realtor. So we're gonna go get lunch from Taco Casa and uh, I'm not really sure. We're getting Courtney a large tea, half and half, extra ice, and whatever, whatever me and Jessica want. There's Jessica. Big Oh, big burrito. Or the super nachos, those are good too. Tonight's menu calls for, or tonight we're making, or I'm making, creamy smothered pork chops. And I need carrots, Yukon gold potatoes, fry seasoning, yellow onions, scallions, pork chops, chicken stock concentrate and sour cream, and cayenne pepper. And what I need to bring to the table is vegetable oil, butter, and flour. So I'm gonna get the ingredients out, then I'm gonna start the timer. Okay guys, Marvin's already started peeling the carrots. It's 520, says it's gonna be a prep time of 10 minutes, 10 minutes, ready in 40 minutes. We'll see how we do. We've got all of our ingredients right here ready to go, including the flour in the Rubbermaid Brilliance container. And this is another episode of Marvelous Meals with Marvin and Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. I already went a little bit rogue with the recipe because this, the potatoes were supposed to have the fry seasoning, not the carrots, but the carrots got fry seasoning. Oh, and current time is 529-ish. So we just finished, I don't know the time, I'll have to look back on my stories mm. to see what time it was on my Instagram, but it's 615 and we just finished. Marvin is tasting it. How's Marvelous Meals with Marvin and Lisa. Delicious. And this is how it looks. Um, this is a an onion gravy um, type thing. It's a pork chop underneath and it's roasted carrots and potatoes. Mm. It's really good. Thanks. He helped. So I think it turned out good. So thank you very much, every plate. Hey you guys, it is now 11 o'clock. So remember my goal to get in bed by 10.15. Well, that's shot, but tomorrow my other goal was to get up 
by 6.15 and be ready before I actually log on to, hold on. I thought the cat had gotten sick, but he didn't. So my goal of getting in bed by 10.15 is shot by 45 minutes. But I'm still gonna get up at 6.15. I'm still gonna get ready for my day without like really logging into any of like my email, Facebook, or like the system, MLS system or anything like that. I'm not gonna do any work. Um, unless I'm like posting to Facebook, I might get that started or set some Instagram posts or like prep some. But I'm not gonna like look at emails or anything like that. And then I'm going to get into the shower by um, like 6.30, 6.45 and after I've started like Marvin's breakfast and stuff. And then, then once I'm like ready and dressed for the day, that's when I'll start looking at emails and stuff. Because for the past couple mornings, I've gotten sidetracked doing some other stuff that I wasn't easily able to stop. So yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna <laughs> really try to get up in the morning, start breakfast or get breakfast going or whatever, hop into the shower, get dressed, and then start doing some different, you know, uh, work things or work related stuff because yes, I'm working. So that's awesome and stuff like that. But on the other hand, I'm also not getting some stuff done that I needed to get done. So, uh, or I'm feeling like, like I'm starting like behind already and the day just barely started. So, um, and tomorrow I have one meeting for sure. I have, um, a meeting with the downtown advisory board, not the board, but, uh, the downtown manager, because we're going to talk about the Christmas season. And so that's coming up. It'll be here before you know it. It's already June. And so we just need to be thinking ahead of time. So we have some ideas in our mind and we can start strategizing about who does what, who do, who does what, who does what, when, and that kind of stuff. And today I forgot to tell you guys, but I had a really good planning session and just kind of like brainstorming session with Jessica up at the office about what we could do and some of our plans on how to help like market ourselves in the real estate world and or like to potential clients to let them know that we're realtors and all that kind of stuff. So it was a really good, really good day. I feel I'm feeling really inspired by this. So um, that's another awesome thing. But I'm going to get to bed now. I'm going to do uh, uh, two more things in here, quick things, and then I'm going to bed. So don't forget, be kind to others and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.